Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic number that is always accurate and it's going to be like a year number. So the use case for this is like when you say how many years you've been in business and instead of updating that every year, you know, you know, instead of saying, um, you know, for 20 years and then a couple years go by and you're like, oh crap, you know, we're actually in business 30 years now because you've forgotten to change it. Instead of that happening, it's going to automatically update for you. So, you know, you know, if it's this year, we'll say, you know, in business uh, 20 years, next year it'll say in business 21 years, etc. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. So this is a really easy two-step process. First of all, we're going to add the short code, and that's added into your text, into you know the HTML, so that that's the location where the number will update, right? So I've made a short code, and then in the next step, we'll be adding the PHP in the back end, but for now, we're gonna add the short code. So let's go ahead and copy this. So you can click on here, copy this, right? Here's the short code. Um, and I have an example here already with some screenshots, but I'm going to show you in the video. So over here on this website, I've just added a text module. And again, this could this could be any text that's HTML. If this was a, a heading, or you know, it could be a paragraph text or whatever. Um, but it would have to be in HTML where I can actually go and view it there. See, I can view the HTML. So what I'm going to do, you can see I have a number there, whatever number doesn't matter. So I'll actually take the number out and replace it with the short code. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that and paste. And it'll look something like that, which, you know, that's just dynamic. All right, so we're done on the actual page. We can go ahead and save that and exit that page. Next, we're going to be adding the PHP snippet that's creating this. And the best way to add a PHP snippet would be if you have a child theme. If you have a child theme, just go to your functions.php file and add it there. And if you already have that, then you probably know, or at least a little bit familiar with how to do that. If you want the really easy way, and you want to be sure that you don't, you know, mess anything up um, on your site, you can install a plugin. It's called Code Snippets. Really simple name. It's easy to remember. Code Snippets. That's what it's called. So go ahead and install and activate that. I already have it installed here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on activate. And what it does, it adds a new menu here in WordPress. It's just called snippets. So if I go here, I can see all the snippets that I have on my site, but then I can click on add new. So click on add new, and then give it a title. So I'm just gonna call it something like, you know, something that you'll remember, doesn't matter, dynamic number. And then here, you can see what we're gonna do. We're gonna paste this code. So go ahead and copy the actual code right here. Go back to your website and just paste here. All right, now the code is in here. We need to save the changes. Click the blue button. And now that PHP is active. And actually, if I would go to the front right now, it will be working. See, obviously it's showing the short code and now it's showing 22 years. Um, that number will depend on what date that you have. So that's obviously important. Let me show you that. Go back here to your code and you can see that I have a year. In fact, I have the year 2000 and then it's gonna be month and then day. So you could change this to whatever you want, right? So if I say 19, um, you know, 75 or whatever, and then let's say maybe it's um, July, so 07, and maybe the 20th, or yeah. 23rd of July or something, 1975. Save those changes. And now, as you can expect, the number will update on the front end. So the, the point obviously is setting the date to when your company started or however long you're you know, serving this local area, whatever it is. And then next year, after we cross you know, um, July, whatever I put, 23rd, it will change to 47 years automatically. It will always update. All right, well, that was pretty cool. Um, pretty unique tutorial here. And we actually do tutorials like this every single Tuesday, so make sure you subscribe. You're gonna get a tutorial related to something like this, something related to Divi, WordPress, that kind of thing, every single week. And you can also check out our blog and our membership and all our Divi plugins and things like that. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.